Hey guys, Care Bluebird Homestead. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be making some cardamom tea. I've been outside working in the garden and it's kind of a chilly day today, so cardamom tea sounds like a yummy treat to warm me up. Cardamom tea tastes a lot like chai tea. This recipe is actually from my mother-in-law. I was first introduced to it from my husband's family because they make it every year around Christmas time. And now it's one of the favorites of mine and I really do enjoy it. It's a quick and easy recipe, so without further ado, let me show you how to make it. The first ingredient is 64 ounces of water or two quarts. This is also eight cups. Since we are gonna be drinking this, I want the best flavor possible. So I went ahead and pulled all of this water from my refrigerator. So it is filtered water versus just getting it straight from the tap. You just wanna make sure that you put it into a pot that is large enough for all that water. And that will also be good to put on the stove. To the water, we're gonna add one cup of white sugar. I'm giving you the recipe like it is written. I have also done this with half the amount of sugar and it still tastes great. But, you know, it's definitely a little sweeter and more special with the whole full cup. Then you need two whole cinnamon sticks. And one thing after the cinnamon sticks are done for this recipe, save them. The cinnamon sticks will uncurl as they boil in the water. However, when you're done with this recipe, you can give them a rinse in the sink and set them somewhere to dry and they will curl right back up and then you can reuse them. And if you don't wanna use them for baking, you can use them for crafts or potpourri or something like that. So two whole cinnamon sticks. Then we need six whole cloves. I'm putting all these ingredients straight into the pot. However, you could use a little loose leaf tea mesh strainer to boil them or a little bit of cheesecloth or something if you don't wanna go fishing them out later. Then we need six of these cardamom pods. Then two black tea bags, or you could use loose leaf black tea as well if you prefer. I'm just using Lipton's decaffeinated tea today, and we are gonna add those to our pot. And then I'm gonna bring this to a boil on the stove and let it simmer for 30 minutes, and then we'll enjoy it. It's pre-sweetened with the sugar, so you don't need to add anything else, but it is nice with a little splash of milk as well. cardamom tea is ready now, so I'm gonna go grab the rest of the family to come pour themselves a cup as well. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. It really is very yummy. It tastes just like chai tea, basically. Leave a comment below if you've given this recipe a try and what you thought, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.